When you have a cat, you know you have to feed it, clean its litter box, and give it love so it doesn't die. But when you have a Pokemon, things can get more complicated because they can die from the most unexpected things. Today, we have compiled the top 10 most shocking ones. But first, make yourselves comfortable and hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you won't miss our next videos. These are the 10 most terrible Pokemon deaths. Charmander is one of the first Pokemon in the Pokedex. He's also one of the first we met, and probably the one who taught us that the Pokemon world isn't all magic, fantasy, and happiness. According to the Pokedex of some regions, this fire-type Pokemon is terrified of water, and if the flame burning in its tail is extinguished, it'll die immediately. This is a cause, but also a consequence. If Charmander dies, its flame will be extinguished. This fire functions as a health indicator, and the worse the Pokemon feels, the weaker its flame burns. In the Pokemon animated series, Ash met a Charmander that had a very hard time during the first few episodes, almost dying and letting us see the flame of its life slowly extinguishing. Jirachi is one of the cutest mythical Pokemon in the entire Pokedex. It belongs to the Hoenn region, but its true origin is in space. It is the Wish Pokemon because it can make true anything you want. Sort of. Because in the animated movie, we saw it steal candies using teleport to give them to Max. In any case, this movie made us see one of the hardest situations from all Pokemon. Jirachi's life is even shorter than that of a fly, which according to Google, lasts about 28 days. Jirachi is reborn once every one 1,000 years with the arrival of the Millennium Comet, which appears in the Pokemon world for a week and then disappears for another 1,000 years. This also means the birth and death of Jirachi, which then turns into a stone for another 1,000 years. Certainly one of the most terrible fates we can imagine. And one more curious death around here, yours. In Paldea, there's a terrifying but adorable Pokemon called Gravard, which is basically a dog with a little candle on its head. As you know, in Spain, people are very good with candles and curses. Gravard can absorb the life of whoever is around him little by little without the person realizing it. This slow death is horrible in itself, but as it is so placid, we can't say that it's the worst death. In fact, in the Pokemon presentation video, a girl is playing with this funny little dog, but ends up dying after throwing a stick several times. <sighs> Something cats have taught us is that being curious can be very dangerous, hence the phrase, curiosity killed the cat. Well here, it's Mimikyu, the Pokemon that'll kill you if you dare to look under its costume. Although we're not here to talk about how it kills, but how it dies. The story of this sad Pokemon that wanted to look like Pikachu so that everyone would love it becomes even darker if we consider what it looks like under its costume. We never do get to see its body, and for very good reason, Mimikyu suffers and can even die from sunlight. Its disguise not only makes it look like a rundown Pikachu, but also protects it from certain death if, for whatever reason, it has to come out of hiding and expose itself to sunlight. Of all the Pokemon stories, the story of Lavender Town's Marowak is the most sinister. Apparently, Marowak fought against Team Rocket and ended up being killed in battle, then turned into a ghost and haunts those who approach the Pokemon Tower. Her corpse was found by her cub, a Cubone who, having nothing else to do, put his mother's skull on his head. Marowak's death and subsequent exhumation by its son to use his skull as protection is one of the most shady events in all of Pokemon. Also, this event seems to have caused all the Cubone in the world to do the same because they all have their mother's skull on their heads. In the third generation, there's a very particular Pokemon that's dead, or so we're told. When we have an Inkata and it evolves into a Ninjask, nothing extraordinary happens at first, but if we have a gap in our team, it'll be filled by Shedinja. This Pokemon is one of the rarest Pokemon in existence. It has only one vitality point, so it can die with a single hit, although it has to be very effective. It is actually one of the few Pokemon that we can't feed in the games, basically because it doesn't need it, because it's dead. It's an inert cocoon that's empty inside, but for some reason, it's alive, like a zombie. This state between life and death is confirmed by its ghost type and its strange powers. According to the Pokedex, anyone who looks through the hole in its back will lose their soul, so 100% of its trainers who aren't blind should be ruined by using it in battle.
The tragic story of Zoroa's journey to Hisui made them one of the cutest Pokemon in the region, but also one of the deadliest. According to information provided by the Pokemon Company, the Zoroa from other regions migrated to Hisui for some reason and failed to adapt to the region's cold climate, freezing to death and transforming into something else. It may have surprised many to see that the Hisui and Zoroa became ghost type. This is because, as a result of their failed journey between regions, they eventually died and became dead regional forms. In fact, if we look at their face and compare it to a normal Zoroa, we can see that they look sad, as if they have suffered from something. There is a Pokemon from the first generation that is a mystery to players and has always gone largely unnoticed. Execute is a Pokemon made up of several other Pokemon, such as Magneton that fuses several Magnemite, but instead of Magnets, they are joined together by eggs. Please refrain from making jokes about this sad Pokemon. In any case, as always, not all eggs are the same, and besides the fact that the first Pokedex of red and blue versions featured this Pokemon with a much larger central egg than the rest, there is one that particularly catches our attention. One of the hidden ones is completely broken, even showing the yolk inside. It is assumed that, when the heads of Executor reach maturity, they fall off to form Execute eggs, and this broken egg would not be an appendage to the Pokemon. It would basically be a dead Pokemon that has broken his head after falling from a palm tree. <laughs> And the worst part of it all is that the rest of the Execute carry it around with them as if it were a walking dead. The fact that it's a psychic Pokemon might explain why it moves around even when it's busted, but it's still sinister to say the least. There's one Pokemon in the entire Pokedex that lives in a particular hell. Or, well, maybe it's just used to it. Spoink is the bouncing Pokemon, and under this adorable pseudonym, we have one of the most unfair situations in the Pokemon world. Spoink's constant bouncing is what makes his heartbeat and keeps it alive. So, if it stops bouncing, Spoink will die. <gasps> According to the Pokedex, this Pokemon keeps bouncing even when it sleeps, because if it doesn't, its heart stops beating. In one of the episodes of the Pokemon animated series, there is a Spoink that stays still sometimes, so we don't know how long it can stop bouncing. At least it has been shown that if it loses the pearl in its head, all that happens is that its psychic powers are reduced. But still, this Pokemon is pure anxiety. Like all ghost Pokemon, Phantump is dead, very dead, and its way of dying is very strange for a game like Pokemon. This creature is composed of a rotting tree stump possessed by a human soul. This soul belongs to children who have been lost in the woods and ended up dying alone, wandering among the trees and never finding their way out. But that's not even all. According to the Pokedex, as revenge for having a terrifying forest in its path, this Pokemon uses the voice of children to lure other humans into the woods so that they too can get lost and die just as it did. What a nice Pokemon. Come on. This death is related to Mimikyu, because it can die if it touches light, but it also kills simply with its presence. This is something we've already seen in the Pokemon anime, and the victim of this unfortunate murder was none other than Meowth, Team Rocket's cat. Sparing so much time with Mimikyu in the sun and moon season, it's no wonder it ended up happening. In one episode, we can see how Meowth dies when he sees what's underneath Mimikyu's costume, dying instantly and floating on top of the water. I'm sure Meowth went through hell when he saw Mimikyu Mimikyu's true form and then died. But don't worry, after this traumatic experience, and as Pokemon is magic and fantasy, Meowth comes back from the dead. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of our curiosity videos. See you next time!